Hello and welcome to the Planning Health on the Whitehead Directory and today we are joined by Andy Cole Magic and Hello. he obviously by the clues in the name he is a superstar magician and I know that because I've seen him in action very recently and I was overwhelmed so I'm delighted to welcome you Thank into you. the Planning Hub today. Too kind. Oh no, you're very welcome. <laughs> so the reason we've got Andy in today is because obviously he's a magician so he's a really fantastic entertainer and it's really good to um, get his show on why it's good to have um, entertainment and magician at your wedding. So what, what, what do you think the key selling points for your services are? I think for me, it's uh, magic's become really popular in Huge the last thing, five or six years. It was like Diana Merv and David yeah. Blaine. And it's just a great form of entertainment. There's always weddings that bring many different people together that yeah. don't know each other. Yeah. And there's always the lows and the highs. Yeah. And I can just fill in the gaps, yeah. bring these people together, and give them something to talk about. Well, yeah, because they're going to go away for that wedding and go, oh, it was awesome, and there was this great guy, and he was entertaining us, and it's just something different. It is completely different. Some, some people have um, uh, cartoonists yeah. as well, but it, it's, it's a gap filler. Yeah. Um, and there's various times I can do that, and entertain during the day. So when would you say the best times are to have somebody like yourself along? So when I, when I, I get a, a contact through my email or Facebook or something, and people say, oh, when, when do you, we're not sure, what do you think? So, in my experience, I've, I've probably sort of 60 weddings a year, um, and for me, I think the best time is during the drinks reception. Yeah. Normally, the bride and groom are having some photos, yeah. people are mingling, yeah. they're getting a little bit hungry. And also, it's a bit of an uncomfortable mingling. It don't is know a very uncomfortable. You still these little groups, yeah. and then people are kind of, they're, they're just waiting. Um, the bride and groom are probably off having their photos done, so I can just go in and start, they all come back from the church and I can just go around the groups. It normally lasts about an hour, hour and a half, yeah. um, literally until the bell rings and then they're all seated. Yeah. Or the other option I do is during the wedding feast. So when people are eating okay. and table hop and just go table to table in between the courses. Oh, fantastic. Or both if people want. Yeah, but the great thing about that as well is because they're seated whilst you're actually entertaining them, other tables can see what's going on and, it, and it it. Just, again, it all adds to the excitement. And That's it. There. Get the first table right and they, everyone hears a cheer and a clap. You see heads turn. Exactly. Uh, oh, can you come here next? And yeah. it's brilliant, and it, it just feels. I work the opposite way to the caterers. So I was yeah. going go and have a chat with them, see which things they're doing first, yeah. and then go round. And then normally it's tea and coffee, and then it's speeches. I'll always do something very, very special for the bride and groom. Oh, I bet. Very special. To get yeah. your best trick out. My yeah. favourite, yeah. My, yeah. My, my, yeah. <laughs> no, that's for the kids. That's for the kids, yes. Yeah. <laughs> but you're not, you're not a children's magician. I, I am not. Um, if, if people do want a children's entertainer, then I do know some brilliant guys that do that, that entertain children. There are always children at weddings, and I always have some, a little something up my sleeves yeah. to, to entertain them with. Yeah. Because why, why, how, you've always got your sleeves uh, up, it's, so the, it's, the, it's the eighties look. Um, ah. No, I'm joking. It is because um, I've. I work with my, I can live with my sleeves down, I, I always get, oh, it, it, it's up your sleeve, you're hiding something. So now it, it's a no brainer. Um, no, I like it. Uh, it looks like you mean business. Or I'm serious. It's a 1980s look. No, yes, I love so. it. No, I think it's fantastic, and the weddings that I've worked on where we've had um, a magician or like a caricaturist, as you said, really? they've always actually been the most successful. And when you take in the whole budget, it's only a small part of it, and to have a, an hour or two hour of entertainment. Because I suppose you can do it so that you say, I'll be here for X hours, or they can add on what they can. They can want. add on, yeah. Like something so I can, like, I've done splits, I've done the drinks reception. And then come back. And then wait for half an hour, and then come back and then the tables. Yeah. Um, or gone into the evening when, when lots of guests are there. Yeah, definitely. And also, it's quite good if you've got an early wedding when you've got a late and late after wedding breakfast as well. So that, to save bit. people going home because you that's don't it. want that to happen. So that's Especially always been a... uh, uh, these big houses where people stay, that's kind of, they are yeah. kind of... I, I've been at weddings where you kind of, what's happening? <laughs> yeah, you do, you're not sure, are you? You're not you? sure. So yeah, I'm there entertaining. Um, I've had so many thank you letters from Bryce saying, you know, people are still talking about it. Yeah, um, that's great. That's great, it's good feedback. And, yeah. Um, yeah. and that's why you're on white bed, you see, because you're brilliant. It. Thank yeah, you. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. So what kind of magic do you do then? Okay, so I have um, uh, card magic, which is a, a magician staple. Yeah. Uh, I do uh, metal bending, mind reading. Do you? You do metal bending? Yeah. So you can do the fork like the fork, that? Yeah, I've bent many a fork. Okay. Um, uh, much to the 
the Nice Day Hotel. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh well, uh, it goes yeah, with it. Flat roof it's um, bad, yeah. <laughs> uh, wait, uh, yes, mind reading, uh, pickpocketing is my favourite, especially all around. Ooh. Watch stealing watches, Com- comedy, everything's returned. Yeah. Um, so you haven't got like a vault of uh, yeah. No, no, I'm, I'm <laughs> all these drink. I don't get booked again. <laughs> no. Uh, so money magic, coin magic. Um, yeah, mind reading. Because you've got a great YouTube channel as well. Thank you. Yeah, so there's some really great videos that he's got on there. You should have a look. Because they're Thank really, you. really good. Really so good. are you going to share one of your tricks with us now? Um, I can share a little something. People ask what I do when I'm home and I'm bored. Okay. So let's have a look. We're going to find out. So let's have a look. Oh. Oh yeah, I love the tenor. You love the tenor. Let's check that. Let's all. Okay, well let's find it. Everybody, let's find it. Ten pounds. Ten pounds. All right. Okay, so just so, got so, so again, my sleeves up. Yeah. No, I know you can't hands. hide anything. Okay, if we do this neatly, look, we'll fold it. That's just double my money. Yeah. If we increase it, you should see this up. Yeah. We'll give it a little gentle, a little twist like this, a little magical blow, and we do end up with. That doesn't look like a tenor. Cool. Whoa! Whoa! <laughs> this is brilliant! Oh, well, can I try? <laughs> <laughs> no, I know, I know, I'm sure I can do with a few 50s. Hey, it really is a 50. Hey, that's fantastic. Well done. Yeah, 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 I know. It's like, it's really well, it's I wish I could pickpocket that few more, isn't it? So, yeah, we can pickpocket in and good. Oh no, it's fantastic. Well, thank you so much for joining us today, Andy. It's really great. What we'll do is we'll pop a little uh, web link underneath here so you can go and check him out. And as I say, do go and check out his YouTube channel as well. And get him at your wedding. Absolutely worth it. Thank you for joining us. See you again soon. See you soon. Okay, bye bye.